Oh. Good morning, guys. What has happened so far? Well, I woke up at 7, and I put all my trust into my alarm clock, hoping that it would wake me up at 7.15, so that I could go to my 7.30 class. But my alarm clock failed me, and I ended up waking at around 8. And then I woke up to a text from a classmate saying, like, oh, are you going to come to class? Blah, blah, blah. And then I, like, rushed out the door, made it to class, and yeah. For now, I'm going to stay in bed, respond to comments on YouTube, um, because... I haven't done that in a while and I need to get in the habit of like responding to comments like on the day of and like you know daily sometimes I put it off and then it all builds up and then I read them all at once but trust me I will be more consistent with responding to comments and all that and I will definitely be answering some of the questions that you guys have left me because there are some really good questions and I want to address them it's five o'clock right now I've been a terrible vlogger today, I am so sorry. I really haven't been doing anything today, honestly. I stayed in bed until my volleyball class, which I had like no energy for whatsoever. But after class, I decided to go to the gym, did a quick little chest and tricep workout. Sorry that this vlog has been completely uneventful, but it's okay, because that's why I started the whole Q&A thing. So I asked you guys to send me some questions in my last video, and I got some really good questions, so I'm gonna answer some of those now. So the first question is from Bethany Vela, and she asks, How do I manage school and YouTube at the same time? Love you, girl. Love you, too. So I'm fairly new to YouTube. I only started posting videos, like, beginning of this summer. And honestly, I just do it for fun, and I treat it as a hobby. I really try my best to put my studies first. Like, if I know that I have schoolwork to do, I'll try to, you know, lay off on editing and try to finish my schoolwork first, but... Sometimes that's not always the case. YouTube for me is more of just like a creative outlet. Like I said before, a hobby. It's not anything too serious for me. It's not like my career or anything. So I don't really put a whole lot of time into it, to be honest. Yeah, managing isn't too bad. Okay, next question. Kathy Thee. Thee. Um, she asks, for advice for becoming a vlogger, and have I ever traveled out of the country before? P.S. Love your videos. Good job and congrats with almost 6,000. Woohoo! If you guys didn't know, I'm very, very, very close to 6,000. Which is so crazy. We still have all of December to reach it, so let's do it. But anyways, thank you for the question. I really like this one as well. Advice for becoming a vlogger. Honestly, anyone. Anyone can be a vlogger if they really wanted to. You don't have to have a super exciting life. You don't have to be traveling the world 24-7. You can just be an average person like me, an average college student. It's all about your presence on the camera, I guess. Being engaging, wanting to share what your life is about. If you have the slightest desire to be a vlogger and you want to, you know, record your daily life, Go for it, because that's exactly what I did. I remember one day in the summer, the first vlog that I ever posted. It was on some random day where I got my new MacBook, hung out with my best friend Marissa, and hung out with Justin like later that night. Even though I didn't really have any subscribers at the time and not many people were seeing it, honestly, I was doing the video for myself because, like I mentioned before, YouTube is a creative outlet for me. I love filming and editing and... Don't let anyone try to convince you that, oh no, vlogging is weird, like, your life is not interesting, blah blah blah. Like, yeah, if you have a passion for it, do it. And the second part of the question, she asked, have I traveled out of the country before? And yes, I have actually. The first time I went out of the country, I went to Ireland and then England, and I was with um, my aunt and my cousin and my uncle. And my uncle is from England, so we were there visiting his side of the family, and they took me along with them because they go every year. And yeah, that was really fun. But I wish I could go again because I was pretty young. And like, you know how when you're young, you don't really remember much of your travels and you don't really appreciate everything as much. Yeah, I wish I could go back. So hopefully one day in the future. Um, and then I've also been to Italy and I actually went this past spring around April with my high school choir. That was super dope because not every teenager gets to travel abroad with their high school. Unless you're like Lizzie McGuire or something. Um, and I've also been to Mexico. I went to uh, Cabo last summer. Oh, okay. So, hey, it's Abier. Um, left me a long comment and says, 
Loving the vlogs, Chris. I just want to ask, how do you deal with having acne? I make videos, but usually I'm embarrassed to make more because I'm really insecure about my skin and for that being up on the internet for everyone to see. Like I know people say, if you're passionate about making videos and don't let your skin get in the way, which is why I have uploaded a couple videos, but watching them back, I'm really disappointed and scared to have people watch them. Have you ever felt something like this? How do you clear up your skin slash what's your skincare routine at the moment? Do you think the routine you have has helped clear your skin up? Well, that was a lot and girl, I feel you. Trust me, I've struggled with acne like basically all of high school. I know that being on camera and having acne, it might be something that's really uncomfortable for you and might make you feel really insecure. But honestly, um, if your content is good and you're passionate about what you're doing on camera, then you know your appearance shouldn't really matter to you or to your viewers. You shouldn't be scared because people are watching your videos. It's because they like you and not because they're trying to like judge you or anything, you know? And so yeah, I had really bad skin in high school and as of right now my skin's pretty clear I do have like acne scars and stuff so that's why I put on makeup and whatever but for now my piece of advice is that clear skin comes from within so you know eating healthy drinking lots of water um, making sure that you're nourishing your body with good stuff instead of you know junk or whatever that definitely helps and I think that's one of the things that helps my skin but also skincare routine you know washing your face two times a day, making sure you always remove your makeup, and trying to not sleep in your makeup because I'm guilty of that. I will make a video on that because there's more to talk about for all the skincare stuff. All in all, you shouldn't let um, things like acne get in the way of you know your confidence or whatever. Embrace the skin that you're in. I will stop there, but if you guys have any more questions, leave them down below and we will discuss those questions in another Q&A. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop now. I've been recording for like 25 minutes. Um, we're going on an adventure! Woohoo! Steven rented a zip car and we're gonna go run some errands. Get in the car! Oh, okay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, for sure. Oh, this is a Here's nice car! How do you get into the car initially? We are in a Ford Explorer. Huh? How do you get we're into the car We're in an escape. <laughs> no. A Ford Escape. <laughs> Ford Explorer. <laughs> Holy! I'm hey. so sorry. It's okay. No leg room. It's fine. Wait, no, how no, did you okay. get into the car initially? We got Steven, Steven driving, Vanille with the ox, and Holden and I are chilling in the back. <laughs> what is this music, Vanille? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, Stevie! <laughs> Chick-fil-A even though I was here like three days ago. Oh, so good. <laughs> it's like the best fast food place. Don't even lie. The sauce is amazing. Oh. Fun fact, I've only been to Walmart like once. Yay, I'm so excited to go to Walmart. Can you guys believe it? What? Who hasn't been to Walmart? There's no Walmart in San Francisco. You're tripping, Chris. Uh -huh. That's the first time in Walmart. That's the warning. <laughs> no Walmarts at all. In no, SF. there's no Walmarts in You're SF. Kidding. At all. Wow. It's so bright. I'm just wide awake now. I want it's a huge brand new. Every... This is actually a big one right Damn. There. The one by us wasn't this big. This is huge. Christmas socks. Oh. Oh, I'm so tempted. Three bucks. Should I do it? I'm gonna do it. Hey, Walmart knows what's up. This is the definition of an impulse buy. I need some. Oh, okay. I just got back from Walmart and Chick fil A. And now I have to get ready because I have practice very soon. I gotta go now. I'm already changed. Let's see, where's my backpack? I know some people have mentioned before that I need to stop using plastic water bottles, and I promise that I will. Um, I only drink out of plastic water bottles a lot in college because 
I can't drink the tap water in SJ. I promise I'll start using a reusable water bottle once I get myself a hydro flask. I really want one. What is up everyone? It is 1.40. Last time I vlogged, I was getting ready for practice. So yeah, I had practice. Went to go eat a little something some at the dining hall. Came back to my dorm, took a shower, and now I'm here. Currently editing today's video because I want to have that up by tomorrow morning and might as well do it now because I'm wide awake. Why am I still awake? I don't know. Hope you guys are having a wonderful morning or night or whatever time of the day you're watching this video. But yeah, this is me signing out.